fishing, just fishing, fishing, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks. Alright, here we go guys, a cold, we can officially say freezing, I don't know how well it's going to show up on the dash, but it's uh, 32 degrees, Halloween, October 31, and just got some coffee on my way to meet Doc and Skinner on Doc's boat, my boat's still not ready. Uh, I have a week of charters this coming week and I am very hopeful the part was supposed to be delivered yesterday when I checked in with the marina it was not delivered yet but uh, they said it was en route and I should be in the water no later than Monday afternoon Monday's a blowout anyway it's gonna be blowing 40 so no harm no foul on Monday and hopefully we can resume fishing on my own boat on Tuesday the bunny uh, but uh, first really cold day of the year we'll see how it how it goes today uh, hopefully it goes okay uh, water temp should still be good should be in the 50s I would guess and hopefully we catch him up gold today finally jigging last week with Rec heavyweights not enjoyable we'll see how it goes all right, here we go, guys. And as you heard in that cold intro, a freezing morning. It was actually Halloween morning, Saturday, October 31. It was Doc, John Skinner, and I on Doc's boat. And we're going to talk about wreck anchors today. Um, Doc does not have a trolling motor. I do. Skinner does. Rick does. So when we're on Doc's boat, we have to anchor. And there's no way around that. But there is a way to make your life a little easier when anchoring. And what we're going to talk about today is the Mighty Might eight pound wreck anchor and you'll see a picture of it here that's what we were using on doc's boat today i used to have this model on the cobia before we got the trolling motor on that boat and if you're not going to spend you know the three to six thousand all in on a trolling motor which i get it's it's a lot of money um a wreck anchor is a very good alternative and the reason i'm going to pull out an sat word here the prongs are malleable, meaning they're bendable. Now, they hold fine. This is an eight-pound anchor holding a 30-foot boat. The Doc Scarab is 30 feet, nine feet, three inches wide, probably seven, 8,000 pounds as loaded, and it held us no problem. And the one time we moved to get on a better bite, you'll see here the way you handle a wreck anchor. First of all, when you're pulling it up, you'll rarely get stuck with it because the prongs will actually straighten out and allow you to pull it out of whatever rock it, it you know jammed itself into and then when you get it up and you want to re-anchor you take a little uh, piece of pvc piping and you bend the prongs back in place presto you have a new anchor it holds fine and it's really a good alternative to a trolling motor to a traditional anchor that really is more rigid and you can easily lose it anyone who's black fished has lost an anchor. There's no way around that. Um, we'll see some fish caught from this trip. Uh, we'll see some big ones. Biggest, I think, was about six, six and a half pounds. Uh, we had a double limit, the three of us. Um, probably over 100 fish caught. A lot of shorts, but we, we did get uh, enough food, certainly, to eat. And a lot of uh, keepers that we threw back as well. Um, quick update on my boat. It was done. I did get to go uh, do my charters the week of November 2nd. It was in the water the following day, November 1st. Um, so all's well that ends well on that front. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like this type of content, please hit that subscribe button. And speaking of anchoring, we're going to open up the, the video with a clip of Doc getting angry at another boater, something you rarely see. Doc is relatively even-mannered, uh, unless I'm bothering him. And we're, we're at the spot, Eastern Long Island Sound. There's literally, we're there very early. There's literally no boat anywhere near us. And this guy comes and decides he's going to anchor right on top of us. He's got the whole ocean. I don't think he did it intentionally. Uh, it, 
look, sometimes boaters, and I don't mean this in a bad way, they're just clueless. They don't realize what they're doing. They're not intentionally trying to screw you up. I'm sure that was the case here. He was apologetic. He pulled up. But you can see he he dropped his anchor where he was going to swing right into us, and you'll see Doc's reaction. Again, rare to see Doc mad, but he was in the right here. Cha-ching, Skinner. Ooh, good one. I got, oh, I had a good one on. Need a net? Keeper. Nice. Nice fish. Again, and Doc got a nice one. Yeah, that's a good one, Doc. That's 18. Nice fish, man. Nice fish. Got me. Ooh. Yeah, I hear the drag. That should pass. Oh, that will pass. You need a net? Doc, where? Where is the net dock? You know what's... Oh. Good job, Skinner. Yeah. 19? Oh, there, that's what I'm talking about, that, that swimming away. You got it over there. That was perfect, Skinner. You let all those little tops go. Big short. All right. No, that's a measurer. I don't think it's any good. I think he's going to make it, Skinner. This guy's going to be close, I think, too, Skinner. Doc? I think he's good. I think he's good. He's good. Well, here. I mean, get it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you, uh, he's looking. You, 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 you. He's good. Buy a hair. Buy a hair. Really, no current, so it's just. It's all right. I'm dropping all this bait down in the same spot, all these crab legs and everything. There you go. Yeah, this is a better one. No, because he would have taken a lot more line, Skinner. Oh, big. No, it's a nice one. It's a keeper, I think. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. Still nice and vertical with a half ounce. Takes forever to get down. Nah, not that bad. Look at that right away, Skinner. Yeah, you know, I, I gotta tell you, I, I know better than to fish heavy than required. But my hands were cold. And I think this is gonna pass. Maybe not. Yeah. Ooh, not hooked that great. That's a key it might be. I thought it was when I hooked them. Took a decent run. Whoa, look at him peeing. Come on, mother frigger. Oh boy. Oh yeah, 17 and a quarter. I got the net. Man, you sure? Bad. No, 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 no. He's a sea bass. 
Oh, it's a black. Yeah, it's a keeper. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll just. Oh, I have the net here. Yeah, okay. Definitely a keeper. Nice. Boy, what a great first hit, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, should pass. Took a nice little run. You know, it's nothing big. It's a keeper. Stay on. Definitely a keeper, this one. There you go, Doc. Mm -hmm. For sure. All right, I'm up. I'm going to get the net. I was re-rigging. Skinner's got a monster on. Good job, Skinner. You, uh... I'm going to have you... Oh, he's in the structure. All right, you're out. You're out. It yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now he's coming up like a striper. Look at that. I caught a striper here. Oh. No. That's a good fish. Yeah. This is the kind Sweeney catches with. All right. Yeah, we're good. And battery died. Ooh. Yeah. Skinner caught a do, hog. Do these, well, do these even uh, work on these things? Yeah, they do. All right, Skinner, I'm putting this on my head. You tell me to wait. I still I say, got you got a... Best. No. Two best. Look at that, see? Yeah. Well, it's pounds. It's like, let me see what... I don't even know who these numbers are. Oh, I see. That, the middle between... So it is... So that's that's four and that's eight. And it's like between the four and the eight. So all right. Six. All right. Yeah, all right. All right. I mean, look bigger. Gonna... Look bigger, that's all. You'd be quiet over there, Skinner. If the boat's perfect where it is. Uh, that's, where, that's where my fish wanted to go. It hung, it hung me back there. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, Doc. <laughs> oh, I hope my camera hangs in there because I know the battery's low. Oh, okay, I'm going to get the net. I got the net. I'm okay. up. Oh boy. If I can get this fish out. Doc, are you in the rocks? No, I'm not in the rocks. Got okay. He's, he's yep. All right, Doc. Do it, baby. Wait. What are you? What? What jig are you using? Why is the line so far out? What? You know what? See, he's going to that rock. Like I said, I wonder if this is going to be. Oh, you want to move my rod real quick, yeah, Skinner? Yeah, do that. Yeah. Let's oh, get it out of his. Uh, let me come behind you, sorry. Did you... Did you butt hook a big one, maybe? No. It's fighting like a blackfish. Weird to take you around the boat like that. Oh, it's a big blackfish, dude. Nice. Good job. Good job, Doc. Well, he took you for a ride, huh? For that size, it took me for a ride. It's a nice fish, though. Dude, it's a nice fish. fish. Yeah. Don't, I'm gonna, okay. well, you gotta throw them back now. We're at, we're limited. Okay. And we'll end the video on that nice six and a half pounder that Doc picked up. Um, what do you think about the wreck anchor? Have you used one? Uh, do you use a traditional fluke or, or you know, Danforth style anchor? Let us know in the comments. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like this type of content, please hit that subscribe button.